Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Google Chrome seems to be taking a long time to open or start up on your computer. So hopefully this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser, or specifically Google Chrome. And you want to go navigate to the menu icon in the top right corner, and you want to left click on it. And now you want to left click on the more tools area that comes down from the drop down context menu and select extensions. So if you have any extensions listed in here, I'd recommend taking a look. Any extension that's on here, you're more than welcome to delete. It's not going to compromise the integrity of your web browser. However, I should note that if it's no longer necessary or you don't use it or you didn't even know it was there, I'd recommend just disabling that or removing it altogether. So that's one good way to definitely speed up your web browser a bit. Another way I would recommend would be to open up the start menu, and this applies to not just Google Chrome, but just about every web browser. And that would be to type in command prompt, and you'd want to right click on it, and then select run as administrator. And then you want to select OK. And now that we're in the elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word, and that forward slash should be right in front of it. So again, IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully flushed DNS resolver cached. Now that you've done that, you want to type in NET SH space WinSock space reset. So again, NET SH space WinSock W I N S O C K space reset. And then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So close out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. Restart your computer and hopefully the issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I helped you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.